This is Rap the News. Today we are going to prove with the testimony of Jesus Christ himself that he never died on the cross for your sins and that you are being deceived by deceivers. With that said, we're going to listen to Stephen Anderson explain why Jesus went to hell to pay for our sins, right? And then in between and in the meantime, I'm going to stop to make you think because you Christians do not want to think. You want to keep listening to deceivers like this and you will be going to hell for committing idolatry. Christ himself said, worship and serve the Lord your God only, right? Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. And so that does not include Christ because if that includes Christ, that would be idolatry. And then if you look at what the book says, that the sins of the flesh, idolatry is one and the payment is the lake of fire. So let's get into it. If Jesus died on the cross and he had the sins of the whole world placed upon him, to the point where actually there's darkness over the whole face of the earth while Jesus is on the cross, and what did Jesus cry out? My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why would God the Father forsake the Son? It's because of all that sin. God is of purer eyes than to behold evil and canst not look on iniquity. So there was that separation that took place, you know, even between the Father and the Son. And of course, we believe that Jesus Christ is God in the flesh because we believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. These three are one. But even at that moment of the crucifixion, Jesus speaking to the Father, said, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why? Because he had the whole sin of the whole world on him. The Bible says, He who knew no sin became sin for us, that we might be made the right. So if he got in the flesh, how is he going to become sin? Righteousness of God in him. That's why it said in John chapter 3, verse 14, As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. So what is it saying is that the serpent being lifted up in the wilderness is the devil. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. See, that serpent upon the pole in the book of Numbers represented Jesus being lifted up. Why? What does the serpent represent? Satan. Serpent is uh, something that the devil is associated with, but Jesus became sin. He became the devil. He who knew no sin. He was tempted in all points like as we are. Yet with. How's he God and he don't know nothing about sin? Without sin. But he himself bare our sins in his own body on the tree. And he who knew no sin. First you said he died on the cross. Came sin for us. That we might be made the righteousness of God in him. And when he took all those sins upon him and he died. His soul with all that sin. All that garbage went to hell. Stephen Anderson, Stephen Anderson says Jesus went to hell to pay for our sins, right? But not only Stephen Anderson saying it, the Bible itself states in many places that when Jesus Christ died and went to hell for our sins, a.k.a., that um, he, he, he paid for it all. And so the question again would be, then why is it still sin in the world if he took all the sins to hell and paid for it? It's an obvious lie, folks, and you've been deceived. Let's get into the knowledge of the truth. Revelation 13, 1, what you are dealing with is the devil, and upon the devil's head is the name of blasphemy. He's a liar. Why on the forehead? It is because that's his cognitive thinking. His thinking naturally is crooked. He's a crooked serpent, and he's a liar, right? And that's why the representation of uh, the, the snake on the pole, because the snake on the pole, which is Jesus Christ on the cross, is a lie. John 14, 3. And if I go and prepare a place for you, we're going to go after lie after lie. And so instead of trying to cover for the lies that the Bible states about Jesus Christ, why don't you embrace them and say, OK, I need a better interpretation of this because this is contradicting itself. Like I'm going to read to you right now. 14.3. John. And if I go and prepare a place for you. I will come again and receive you unto myself. 
that where I am and he's supposed to be God, there you may be also. John 8, 21, prior. Later, Jesus said to them again, I am going away. You will search for me, but you will die in your sins. You cannot come where I'm going. It is a contradiction and it is a lie. Now you don't know where the hell you're going. But I thought all you had to do is just believe on him, which is a lie. And we're going to prove everything by the scriptures. Blasphemy after blasphemy after blasphemy. Lie after lie after lie. Here you go to the next lie. He just said it while he was talking. John 9, 5. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. But when he was on the cross, it went dark, didn't it? Matthew 27, 45. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. So while he was in the world, why wasn't it light for three hours here? Blasphemy on his forehead. Luke 23, 43. Jesus answered him, and we're getting all the way up to the crucifixion. Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. How are you going to be in paradise when you just heard, let's play it again. He sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. And when he took all those sins upon him and he died, his soul with all that sin, all that garbage went to hell. So was he in heaven or was he in hell? Because he's telling this man, truly, I'm telling you, the truth is you're going to be in paradise with, with me. But Ephesians 4, 9 is saying, now that he ascended, what does it mean but that he also descended first into the lower parts of heaven? What did he throw that man up to heaven and then he went to hell? No. He descended first into hell. And that's what he's saying. Jesus went to hell to pay for our sins. But how is he going to be up in paradise with Jesus? Because this testimony is a lie. Lie after lie. That's one lie right there. There go another lie right there. Right? And then here go the third lie. And let's keep going with these lies. Romans 10, 7. Who shall descend into hell? That is to bring up Christ up again from the dead. He dead in hell. All of it is a lie. Mark 9, 31, because he was teaching his disciples, he said to them, the Son of Man is going to be delivered into the hands of men. They will kill him. And after three days, he will rise. Right? Luke twenty two sixty nine. 69, but from now on, the Son of Man shall be seated at the right hand of the power of of God. So when he was dying on the cross, being crucified, he said, from now on, he's going to be seated at the right hand of the power of God. But we know from these testimonies that he descended into hell. All right? Right here and here. He, he went to hell. So one of these is lying. Is he going to be seated at the right hand of God from now on? Or did he go to hell? Right? And we're going to see. Did he rise after three days? Ecclesiastes 12, 7. Before the dust returns to the ground from which it came, and the Spirit always returns to God who gave it. Some people have souls, but they don't have the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God, when a person dies, returns back to God. Right? And so, if this was the Spirit of God in this man... Why did he go to hell? When the rules is, it returns back to God. He said because he took on everybody's sin. But Jesus himself is saying, according to the scriptures, that he was going to be in paradise with that man, right? Somebody lying. Luke 23, 46. Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands, I commit my spirit. And that spirit is what? Supposed to return back to God. When he had said this, he breathed his last breath. Right? Where did the spirit go? According to up there, it went to hell. 
John 19.30, when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and he yielded up that spirit. God threw that spirit down the hill. And then he was supposed to be God in the flesh. The eternal God died. You are believing lies and fairy tales. And you know it. And you're all going to burn up in hell. Mark 16, 5. And he entered into the graves. They saw a young man sitting on the right side, which is supposed to be an angel, clothed in a long white garment. And they were affrighted. And he said unto them, Be not affrighted. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He has risen, and he is not here. He has risen, and he is not here. So you got an angel sitting here, and they making an angel lie, right? Three days, he, he was risen, he said. And then over there, he said, three days, he was up in hell, doing a lick to pay for the sins. Mm -hmm. Y'all know damn well he didn't pay for them sins, and y'all still sinning to the day. And y'all going to burn up in hell. John twenty seventeen. Jesus said unto her. Who was her? Mary. After three days in tomb. Don't touch me for I am not yet ascended to the father. So how is he risen? The angel is lying. How did he yield up his spirit? And he never ascended to the father? Because y'all believing in lies. Lie after lie after lie after lie. And you Christians just keep going on. Y'all don't want to verify nothing. Y'all just want to just uh, 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 sit there and, and, and wallow in these lies. Let's keep going with the lies. Hebrews 5, 7. During the days of Jesus' life on this earth, he offered up prayers and petitions, and he supposed to be God. With fervent cries and tears, God is crying to himself, to the one who could save him with himself. From death, and he was heard because his reverent submission. So, Jesus Christ was supposed to be saved from death because he prayed like hell to God to be saved from death, that he don't die on the cross. What happened? John 10, 18, New Living Translation. No man can take my life from me, says Christ. No man can take my life from me. How are you going to die on the cross then? He said he never ascended. The angel and everybody else said he was risen. And then the other testimony in Hebrews and other places said he went to hell. In Acts and all them other places. I sacrificed it voluntarily. Then you wasn't crucified. You just stopped your own self from breathing. You committed suicide. For I have the authority to lay it down when I want to. And I, can, I also can take it up again for this is what my father has commanded god commanded that no man no man could take his life from him and that if he gonna die he just gonna lay his life down voluntarily right but wasn't up there he said that the son of man has to be killed listen They will kill him. After three days, he will rise. Then they say he got to be killed. They will kill him. Let's go back down to it again. No man can take my life from me. I voluntarily laid it down. They didn't kill me. I just went to sleep. Y'all are believing in lies and y'all know it. I'm trying to guide y'all to the right, but y'all want to keep believing in this fairy tale because y'all are sinners and God said he is going to burn all of you sinners with fervent heat when it comes down. Y'all going to burn with this earth. The earth and all its works from the New Testament to the Old Testament will burn in this hell. Matthew 5.20 For I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes, Jesus talking, and the Pharisees, you shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Now, what did the scribes 
and the Pharisees know. What was their level of righteousness? Again, we'll read it again for you. Matthew 5, 20, Jesus speaking. I am saying unto you, the whole world, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. I thought all we had to do was just say the name of Jesus and, and believe on him. See how it's all a lie? You shall in no way enter into the kingdom of heaven. Now how do we know the righteousness of the Pharisees? What did they know? Matthew 27, 62 explains it. Now the next day that followed, the day of the preparation for the hanging of the cross, the chief priests and the Pharisees came together unto Pilate, saying, Sir, we remember that the deceiver said, while he was yet alive, after three days I will rise again. What did the Pharisees know? That the one that's supposed to die on the cross is the deceiver. Because every verse I read to you was a lie. It contradicted itself. And y'all gonna burn in hell. Thinking that some imagine, imaginary Greek mythology God died for your sins. When God said he gonna punish the world for their sins. And destroy all the arrogance and pride out of it. Y'all going to hell. Repent and worship only God like Christ and God said. This is Rap the News.